Yo, what is good? Let me tell y'all, Bleach coming back is a serious thing for every other anime out there. It's one of these OG animes that had so much more story to tell and never got told through the anime. But now here we are getting these amazing moments where certain characters are getting power-ups or learning that the first and final um, more that we've seen to this degree is about to come to an end in nine days is a pretty big flex by the villain himself. But at the end of the day, y'all, I want to know what you're thinking about this episode of Bleach. It was phenomenal. I didn't really get to listen to the opener songs. I hate spoilers in the opening videos or in the ending. So I'm going to be checking those out at a later date, maybe like six episodes episodes in or something but from the little snippet i heard it wasn't all that bad and knowing that ichigo is still not even close enough to winning this war really does beg the question what power is he going to come out with that is so tremendous that he might not be able to leave the soul society we have rukia and renji actually gaining some momentum um, there's a lot of characters I'm curious about to see what the captains are doing after the defeat. What can they even become after losing some of their Zompon toes in the fights? Um, but yeah, this was mostly a Quincy essential episode showing us just how ridiculously, uh, long they waited and how much effort they're going to put throughout the rest of the war. But... The main villain is a savage. He has now taken one of our main characters to his side, giving his blood to him. And it makes me very curious how strong Ubiora can come. If he becomes very strong in the match with Ichigo, it will be a war to truly see his best friend, who's a Quincy, in a substitute solely for fighting for the mankind of all of the world slash soul society. Sounds real fun. Hope y'all are having a good one. Let me know how you're feeling. Take care.